Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be walking you through how to install DB2 on CloudPack for data. Whether you're setting up a new environment or looking to enhance your data capabilities, this tutorial has you covered. Let's jump right into it. Begin by logging into the Bastion machine, then retrieve the OpenShift login credentials, as well as the CloudPack for data login credentials. Now, by following IBM's official documentation link provided in the description you can get an overview of CloudPack for data. Simply scroll down the page to explore the details. Next, select Services and Integration from the menu on the left, then navigate to Data Source Services. Here, you will find the DB2 option. You can now view the DB2 versions that are compatible with the different cloud pack for data versions. If you prefer to set up a dedicated node for DB2, you can do so by using the command provided in the documentation linked below. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The first step is to run the environment variable file to set up your environment. Once that's completed, you'll need to log into CloudPack for data using Bastion machine. After successfully logging in, the next step is to create the necessary operator lifecycle manager OLM, objects for DB2. These objects are essential for managing the DB2 instance and will need to be created within the operator project designated for DB2. Following these steps will ensure that your environment is properly configured and ready for the DB2 installation. It will take maximum 30 retries for all objects to get created on your environment. After a short while, you'll notice that the apply OLM command has executed successfully. Next, we need to create a custom resource for DB2. To do this, you'll need to execute the apply CR command on the Bastion machine. This command, detailed in the documentation, is essential for setting up the custom resource. Make sure to follow the instructions provided. The creation of the custom resource in your environment may take up to 100 retries to complete. After some time you can see the apply CR command ran successfully, and now we are ready to deploy service on CloudPack for data. Thank you for watching. For more information about CloudPack for data, please reach out to Vericita's Solutions Private Limited.